Theater goers will be required to show proof they've been vaccinated to get into some shows in Portland. This weekend will be the first time in over a year the Arlene Schnitzer Concert Hall welcomes an audience inside. But with the Delta variant bearing down hard, there will be new rules. Catherine Cook reports. In downtown Portland, the stages are set. This fall is probably going to be the happiest that, that we've been in a long time. Soon, curtains will once again rise at the Keller Auditorium, Arlene Schnitzer Concert Hall, and the theaters within Hatfield Hall, a first since March 2020. And seeing audiences walk through the doors for the first time is going to be hugely emotional. I'm going to bring plenty of Kleenex. Robin Williams is executive director of Portland Five Centers for the Arts. To protect against COVID-19, the venues are requiring audience members to provide proof of vaccination or a negative test within 48 hours of the show. Also, under the governor's current mandate, masks are required indoors. So we're just making sure that there is a plan in place so that everybody's safe. The Schnitz reopens Saturday night with comedian Franco Escamilla. The Keller opens September 28th with Jesus Christ Superstar. Williams says it's a good idea to check for additional restrictions with each performance. For example, Oregon Ballet Theater. In October, kids under 12 won't be allowed to attend the ballet's performances of Face to Face. Williams hopes everyone who can will join them in the theater soon. We can hardly get through a training without tearing up. Catherine Cook, KGW News.